diagram and fly it. In this video, we are going to solve a problem by using simple basic formulas instead of using complicated formulas. Now first, I will read what is the given problem. A shaft fitted with flywheel rotates at 250 rpm and drives a machine. The torque of machine varies in a cyclic manner over a period of 3 revolutions. The torque rises from 750 Nm to 3000 Nm uniformly during half revolution and remains constant for the following revolution. It then follows uniformly to 750 Nm during the next half revolution and remains constant for the one revolution, the cycle being repeated thereafter. Determine the power required to drive a machine and percentage fluctuation in speed. If the driving torque applied to the shaft is constant and the mass of flywheel is 500 kg with radius of gyration of 600 mm. So this was the given question. If we observe the question, we have to calculate what is the coefficient of fluctuation of speed and what is the power required to drive the machine. So for that we will first understand some basic formulas. So what is the first formula? Maximum fluctuation of energy is equal to 2 into kinetic energy of flywheel multiplied by coefficient of fluctuation of speed. So for this coefficient of fluctuation of speed we have to first find out what is the maximum fluctuation of energy. And it is nothing but area above the mean torque. Now if we observe the question, here how this torque varies with respect to crank angle is given and that is nothing but the turning moment diagram. So as per the given data, we have to first complete this turning moment diagram and then we can calculate what is the mean torque and then from that we will find out what is the area above that mean torque and then we will find out what is the maximum fluctuation of energy. Then here this main torque is important. Next formula is torque required for one complete cycle is equal to area under the curve for one complete cycle. So if we observe this diagram then we will draw here the turning moment diagram for one complete cycle as per the given data and then the area under the curve for the one complete cycle is nothing but the torque required for that complete cycle and this torque required for one complete cycle we can also write in the form of T mean that is the mean torque multiplied by the angular displacement for one cycle. So we will move for this turning moment diagram. So you can note down these three important formulas and based on these three important formulas we will find out our answers. So first if we observe it is given that during the first half revolution the torque varies from this 750 newton meter up to this 3000 newton meter and it is varies uniformly. So we have to draw one straight line. Now, what is the meaning of half revolution? So, in one complete revolution, there is the angle covered which is equal to 360 degree. And that's why in half revolution, angle covered is equal to 180 degree and that is equal to pi. So, on this crank angle, we have to take with some particular scale from 0 to pi. Then pi plus pi that is 2 pi, 2 pi plus 1 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi and 6 pi. Now I will draw here. So during first half revolution that is from this 0 to 5 the torque varies from 750 to 3000 uniformly. So for this uniform variation we will draw here one straight line. Then for next one revolution, so in one revolution angle covered is 360 degree and 360 degree means what? There is 2 pi. So in this pi we have to add 2 pi. So 2 pi plus pi that is equal to 3 pi. So up to this one revolution it is given that the torque 
remains constant. So up to 3 pi, we have to take the torque remains equal to 3000 newton meter. So I will draw here one straight line. Then again, during next half revolution. So half revolution means only pi. So in this pi, we have to add only one pi that is 4 pi. During next half revolution again, torque varies from this 3000 to 750 uniformly. So I will draw here one straight line from this 3 pi to 4 pi. And again it is given that next one revolution torque remains constant. So here torque remains constant means torque remains at 750 newton meter for one complete revolution. So for one complete revolution the angle covered is equal to 2 pi. So this 4 pi plus 2 pi that is equal to 6 pi. So I have to draw the line up to this. And I will join this. So that this curve will be getting completed. Now we will give here some letters. So here this is O. Then this initial point will be I will give here A, B, C, D, E. Then here I will give here point will be F. This point will be F here is G and here is H. So in this way this curve is getting completed. Now we will move for the first step that is torque required for one complete cycle. So what is the torque required for one complete cycle? That is the area under the curve for one complete cycle. So from this 0 to 6 pi one complete cycle is there. So we have to find out the area under this curve. So we will give here area under the curve O A B C D E F O A B C D E F so how to find out the area for this total so we will split this into number of parts so for if we observe here we can join this point A to D then here will be one rectangle so I will join this so I will join this uh, with the help of this uh, black marker then again here there is the triangle that is A B H so I will join this line B to H then again here B C then here uh, sorry here will be point G so B C G H so here there is the formation of one rectangle so I will join this point C to G and then again there is the triangle C G D so in this way all the parts we have to take. So I will write here. So that is equal to area for this rectangle A E F O or O A E F O A E F plus area of triangle A B H plus area of rectangle H B C G plus area of triangle CGD. Now we have to put the value. So we know that what is the area of rectangle that is height multiplied by base. So what is this height? Height is O to A. So I will write here OA multiplied by OF plus area of triangle ABH. So here half into base base a h into height b h plus this rectangle that is height multiplied by base that is b h multiplied by h g plus half multiplied by so this base that is g d multiplied by c g g d multiplied by c g so how to put the values? So on this x-axis there are the values in the form of this crank angle that is in the form of pi. And here on this y-axis there is the values in newton meter. So we will try to put the values. So here O A. So what is the value of O to A? So from 0 to 750. So I will write here 750. Multiplied by O to F. So O to F there is the angle covered is 6 pi. 
plus half into a h. So a to h here is only pi and b h. So from b to h how we can observe this total is 3000 from 0 to 3000 minus 750. So in bracket I will write 3000 minus 750 plus now here b h into h g. So b h that is again equal to so for this b h again 3000 minus 750 multiplied by h g that is 3 pi minus pi that is equal to 2 pi. So multiplied by 2 pi plus half into g d. So g d 4 pi minus 3 pi that is pi multiplied by c g. So c g is again equal to 3000 minus 750. So we have to solve this. If we calculate the torque required for one complete cycle, then we will get the answer 11,250 pi newton meter. But we know that as per this third formula, this total torque required, that is nothing but equal to mean torque multiplied by the angle covered in one complete cycle. So this mean torque is unknown, but what is the total angle covered in one complete cycle that is 0 to 6 pi that is we can say 6 pi so if we put here the value is 6 pi then we will get the mean torque that is equal to 1875 newton meter now we will move for the first question that is power required to drive the machine so here we will start from the basic formula so we know that basic formula work done is equal to mean torque multiplied by the angular displacement theta so if we take work done per unit time so we know that work done per unit time that is nothing but power so if i divide on both sides by time or unit time then work done per unit time which is equal to mean torque multiplied by theta by t so this theta by t means what or we can say displacement divided by time so displacement divided by time is nothing but velocity but here is angular displacement so we will consider here angular velocity omega so this is our formula that is power which is equal to mean torque multiplied by omega so how to calculate this omega so here the rotational speed is given in the question so rotational speed n is equal to 250 rpm so from that we will calculate omega that is 2 pi n by 60 that is 26.2 radians per second. So from this omega if we put here value then mean torque that we have already calculated then we will get the power and which is equal to 49,125 watt. And this is the answer of first question. Now we will move for the second question that is coefficient of fluctuation of speed. And for that we have to first calculate what is the maximum fluctuation of energy. And it is nothing but area above mean torque. So this mean torque is getting calculated. So we will plot here the line for the mean torque at a distance of 1875 Newton meter. So this line, horizontal line indicates the mean torque line. And now we have to refer the area above this mean torque. So here I have shown that particular area that is indicated by this red marker. So we can add the number of parts here to calculate this total area. So in this whole area here is the triangle LBM. Then here is the rectangle BCNM. And here is again triangle CNP. So if we add area of all these parts then we will get here the total area. Now if we observe here what is the area of this triangle that is half multiplied by base LM multiplied by height BM. So this height BM we can calculate easily. But what about this base LM? So it is not mentioned. So for that again we have to move for one calculation that is we will consider the ratio for two triangles that is triangle BLM and triangle BAH. So if we consider these two triangles then we will get the ratio that is LM. So we will take the ratio for this base LM divided by AH which is equal to this height BM divided by BH. So if we take the ratio so this LM is unknown but what is this AH? So AH is equal to pi. 
so ln by pi which is equal to now what is this b to m so b to m how we can calculate so this total 3000 minus 1875 then we will get here pm then how what about bh so bh is 3000 minus 750 so when we calculate this we will find out ln that is 0 0.5 pi so in the same way in this triangle c and p this base n p is unknown so again we will take the ratio for two triangles triangle c and p and triangle c g d so again n p by g d which is equal to height c n by c g so this n p is unknown but what about g d so this does g to d is pi which is equal to now this c n that is this total 3000 minus 1875 and this distance c g which is equal to 3000 minus 750 so this n p is equal to again 0 0.5 so now we will put the value so in this area of triangle l b m that is half into l m into b m plus in this rectangle b c multiplied by b m that is this two lengths b c horizontal length and vertical length plus again in this triangle half multiplied by base n p multiplied by c n so it is easy for us to put the values that is half into l m 0 0.5 pi multiplied by this height 1125 plus now this 112 pi 1125 is the value for the height and for this horizontal length the value is 2 pi that is from point b to c what is the distance 3 pi minus pi that is 2 pi plus again half multiplied by 0 0.5 pi multiplied by 1125 so when we calculate this we will get the answer 8837 newton meter so this is the maximum fluctuation of energy so if we observe this first formula then this maximum fluctuation of energy is getting calculated then kinetic energy of flywheel that is half min into i into omega square so this omega is also getting calculated so what is the value of i i is equal to m into k square and omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 so all the value this m is known k is known n is known so all the values are known so only one unknown value is there that is the coefficient of fluctuation of speed and that it that is easy to calculate now we will put here the values that is this maximum fluctuation of energy 8837 this 2 and half is getting cancelled i that is mk square omega 2 pi n by 60 bracket square then c is so this m is 500 k is 0 0.6 square multiplied by what is the calculation 26.2 the bracket square multiplied by c is so h c s is the coefficient of fluctuation of speed and that is equal to 0 0.071